chamar Eu tô muito fácil que fixo Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel It's a reaction video Who made it to the top? Of course, you and I were here. We we're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder if you love me, I love you back. Love you with it. I love you back. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Where's my backpacker? Of course, one leg. One leg is in Jamaica. Of course, another one is in Silicon Valley of Africa, aka Kengewood, aka Iyabohaze. Ha! Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. Me, I've got my bottle of water here. Grab yours, sharp, sharp. Who do we have here? Of course, Coco Mama of the Most High made it to the table. You are here. Japanese vlogger with over 600k subscribers. Coming to Jamaica to come and tell us what you don't understand. Mm? It's not today that we know that people are taking weed. You take it the way you want to take it. This Japanese guy doesn't vlog in English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, man. Famous shatter going to the Blue Mountain, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can introduce your channel. You have a YouTube channel also. Yes, you know? I travel all around the world, and then, yeah, I have been doing YouTube for a long time, and then I share like a travel vlog, what's the reality of like yeah. each country. Yeah. In real life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, and the YouTube channel is just shutter. Yeah, Papa Shota. Papa? The Papa meaning the backpackers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In Japanese, yeah. In Japanese. Okay, Kino took him around to, to this real Rastafari man, you know, doing their thing. And I was reading the translation. Oh, they are smoking without filter. Other places, you smoke with filter, you pass it around. These guys, they do their rap in a paper, they smoke and they continue I'm like, Hey, is this what you have come here to do? To come and compare and contrast or what? And this other Rasta guy that he was talking to, had his little baby. This is where I have problem, guys. Kino, when you take these people around, because I'm gonna hold you responsible, I'm gonna be on your neck. I don't care. You see this other Japanese guy? I'm very, very sure that he contacted you. He trusted you on this. He believed in you that you are going to give him good information. Where to go, what to expect, what to go with, okay? Don't record our children like this without making sure that there's pro proper arrangement. Don't record our children without us seeing what you have offered. This guy makes millions of views. It's not even a joke. Like within a day like this, come and see views. Okay? You know also, I'm asking myself, what is wrong with these guys? So now you guys have not understood that this is purely for business. That when you put camera on someone, you must present something to that person. When you go to market, it's called buying and selling. When you go to market to buy stuff, you don't pick whatever that is there and just move out. You actually do what? You give him some money, then you collect the stuff. Either you are buying in bulk to resell, or you are buying the one that you will consume. It doesn't matter. What is this? And here this guy translating nonsense. The Jamaica people are smoking this, they are smoking without filter, they are doing... Ha! Guys, I thought I have seen it. Can we bring other backpackers here? Because Coco Mama, respect yourself. Your own is too much today. Why are you jumping without even bringing everybody to... Can you take it easy? I know your blood is... Whenever I see like... Especially with children. You you guys that follow me for a long time, you know, right? I don't joke with children. <laughs> you can be... Even me. I didn't bring the baby here. Because we can't be like them. You know? I mean? You bring a baby. You make plan for that baby. Not just bringing camera. Carry this person. Probably he pushed in some money. Or you're gonna get fame helping him around. You all. Guys, you know the worst part of it. These guys that come to take advantage of us. Okay? Christmas list is on this table. Mrs. Maya is here. Check in effect made it to the table. Let me be telling you who and who are here today. You understand what I mean? BT Burundi traveler refused to rest. Double Junior rest. This one is what? Covering another lady, their family friend, the, the girl, a girl that has done stuff with D in the past, covering her face, making 
his audience believe that this is caster. The Virginia, your own is too much now. Relax. You are done. You are done and dusted with caster. You know very, very well that everybody is anxious and eager to see you and caster. It's not happening. Just leave it like that. What is your problem, the Virginia? Guys, like I was saying, I don't like when these guys take advantage of us like this. And even our own people, you expect them to know better. Christmas list is in Canada. We want to see this slump in Canada. He was there vlogging in his home. This is someone, wherever he goes, he's outside with his camera. Now, you are back home. You can't show us any footage apart from your home. You can do better. Information we are getting is that his friend, Sean, and the Arab guy, the YouTuber that was held by this group in Haiti, the YouTuber that was kidnapped by this group in Haiti, <laughs> they actually have their picture together. As soon as I saw them, I said, these people must be joking. You, with your whole stage like this, you are all smiling, all dressed up nicely. Oh, they are safe. This guy, someone gave 100,000 USD and they were released. Come and see activation of donation here and they come and see lies. Wow. These people, they don't know what they are doing to themselves. So many people were doubting that actually these guys were not kidnapped. That this is a made up story for views. What do you think? For two weeks, they were there enjoying with those guys and then took picture with them. Or probably they even planned it with this group. Who knows? We are not babies here. You know, we don't have any problem, you. Helping someone who has reached out to you and be like, I'm coming to Jamaica, take me around. Especially these big, big ones that we can tell that they are making money. It's purely for money. If it's for money, they must put something down for these guys that they are recording. Nothing goes for nothing. Nothing is free. As you are not paying, they are paying. How are they paying now? So many people will judge them. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, look at that baby. Oh, look at them. So many people will even use their face, do whatever they want to do. You have exposed them without pushing something inside their pocket. What is that? And we don't want to hear audio. Ah, we gave. But off camera, no. You have to do it on camera. You have to do it publicly on camera. As you are recording them publicly, we want to see the help that you have given them publicly. That is the deal. This guy even ate. This guy was, there's another guy that cooked nice white rice and some gravy. For this Japanese guy. Come and see him eating. Enjoying. I don't know whether he brought something or this other dude just made that food for free for them. I don't know that part. I don't even want to know. But whenever I see a child, it pisses me off. Because number one, this child is a minor. You are not supposed to bring a child. Except if this child is your child. You are the biological mother or father. Or you are directly taking care of this child. Which some people will even tell you that even your own child, you need to get your child's consent before you bring your child to camera. If he's an adult, it's his choice. You want to be used, that's your business. But we must come here and talk about it. We cannot keep quiet. These guys, they are coming to Africa. They are not showing us the good side of Africa. They want to turn, they want to make the same mistake that the media have made in, in the past. We can't let that happen. It can't continue like this. You come to a country, start from the good place, the safe place. Show us the beauty of that country. Show us what the country is known for, what they are producing, or the places you should come. If you are a tourist, show us the good, but don't go direct to the slum. It's not nice. This is the truth, guys. And our people, we have to do something. We have to be sensitive about these things. It starts from us. If somebody welcomes you in her home, it's an honor. But don't take advantage. And don't think, oh, they want money. They are asking for money. Just like Coco Girl. You think all this kind of content that Coco Girl did, she's going to do it now and get away with it. Look at what happened to her in Ghana. She didn't know when she disappeared from Ghana. The same like her friend, Traveling Miss. It's not nice. It's not... It's not everybody's wish to be on camera. Some people, they want to be on social media by just looking. They don't want to appear on camera for anything. Now, you are going against their wish without even getting proper consent. 
without even telling the person why you are recording the, because some people when they see this thing especially GoPro camera guys they don't even know that you are sending them to the whole world see they don't even know how viral the video will go like yeah, I mean, probably your relative will be telling you oh i've seen your video somewhere 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 you'll be like when how what did i even do probably they even push in little money that means nothing to the person just like what when the Yabahanza reactor recently said, Oh, they gave me something very little to go against Coco Mama. Eh? The job that they gave me to do is very, very big. And the money that they gave me is... <laughs> See Chris now running his mouth. People are on his neck. He can't even take it. He thinks it's a joke. He's complaining. If you want to make people happy, don't be a YouTuber. Be ice cream seller. If you want to make people happy. It's not true. You can be a YouTuber, be sensitive enough, be considerate, respect others, respect their culture, know what you are pushing out there, know your limits. Don't go where you see that people are fighting, killing themselves, going through a lot. All you care about is to vlog, 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 ask stupid questions, ask useless questions. I want to see Chris now that he's back home. I want to see him going out there to interrogate families and ask them what they are eating and why they are eating this and what that thing they are eating is made up of and what they have for breakfast. I need him to do stuff like that. I need him to go around. This is his job. This is his passion. This is what he loves to do. We want to see him. Charity begins at home. Show us your vicinity. It's a challenge. You are Christ. Since you don't know what you are doing. Oh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Imagine throwing money on the streets, making jest of the people. Very, very disgusting. Must he even interrogate people when they are eating? Must he even go there to talk to that family in Sudan? A woman that was there with her children eating. This guy is so shameless. Wallahi. He can't even take the heat. Come and see community post back to back. Do you think we are here to read it out, guys? Maybe you will read one. He said, if you want to make everyone happy, don't be a YouTuber. Sell ice cream. Good night, everyone. And so many others that he was putting. This guy, Arab and Sen, are the guys that they claim that this group in Haiti kidnapped, asking for 300000 He did that live stream. Two days after, he claimed that they are out, that they have been released. And I saw this video. Let's watch this video because I saw this video on Twitter. Of course, this guy was speaking the local language. I didn't pick. But looking at the way they were laughing, jumping, there's no way you will believe that this was hostage. There's no way you will believe that they were in danger. There's no way you will believe that. You know how you will imagine, oh, someone being kidnapped and then locked up in a room, not fed properly. Sometimes they torture them, threaten to kill them. You know, show all these horrible videos that will make the people to donate the money and provide whatever they want. You know? So, let's watch the video from the Twitter. Blip, blip. Yeah, le monde. Salut, non, en général. Salut, tout frère, tout colonne, tout allié, nous vivons ensemble. Et vous n'entendez pas ça, non, qu'on qui est La mort, ça joue pas, qu'il joue pas en pleine. Ok. Comment vous voulez encore La mort, ça. Ah, blanc. Non, vous êtes simplement des gens qui étaient kidnappés. Ok. Vous n'avez pas la caille. Ok. Là, je vais vous aller. Je vais vous aller. Vous vous aller. Et ton plaisir pour me faire le monde. Oui. Comme si. Je ne peux pas faire explication. Bon, là, nous arrivons là. Nous avons dit bien. Et les soldats, ils ne sont pas eh, abusés. Ils ne sont pas pris en cours. Et ils mettent nous dans une chambre climatisée, des ventilateurs, 
Après, dans la deuxième jour, la deuxième jour nous faisons là, la ligne fait maquette pour nous. Nous mangeons dans le même bol avec la mort. Il y a des petits bagages nous faisons ensemble, c'est comme, comme si c'est comme si son famille. Et tout le monde qui était là, tout le soldat est venu, il savait nous bien. Et puis, moi-même, nous avons battu de tout le monde. Avec dit là, si nous avons commencé à servir ensemble avec les soldats et tout. C'était un, bon, un, bon, un, bon, un bon moment qui est passé là. Pas de aucune pression sur nous, il n'y a pas de pousse sur nous, pas de monde qui prend pousse, on va nous sommes toujours normal. Ok, ma bille ma, ma blanc là, moi là. Blanc encore blanc là, moi. Swag, swag, swag. <laughs> Merci, wa, parce que on prend soin de nous bien. <laughs> Ok, le monde est ton plaisir, ok. Et pas pour du l'argent. Si c'est pour l'argent blanc, on va d'abord blanc, on va d'abord quoi aller. Ouais, ça me dit là. Si c'est pour l'argent blanc. Guys, I didn't pick anything from here, but the appearance, the way they looked, ok, they looked relaxed, they looked fresh for someone who has been held for two weeks. For the, I mean, these guys, according to their claim, these guys, according to Chris. They have been held for two weeks. But looking at them, they look all relaxed. They look happy. Even this Arab guy was jumping up and down. Saying the same thing. He looked calm. So what are you guys telling us? All I want to say is, as a content creator, okay, don't go where you can tell that, oh, these guys, I can go, I can do anything and then go free. Don't do that. Don't take advantage of people. Inspector guy that was killed. After Chris interviewed him, a day after Chris interviewed him, okay, Chris took him. Chris did not just expose his home or did stuff with him in a particular spot. No, they were everywhere on the street, lonely street. Like nobody was on the street, nobody was outside. People were scared and inside. Chris did all that with him, and he was scared. And Chris made the short video that he shared. He made over four million from one short video of this guy, and then the video that he shared. He made over one million. Now he's coming back to act and to lie that this other video, he's sharing it back because he has these raw footages. And that video, as I'm talking to you, is going viral. It's already like 500 or 600k. Have you seen it? Have you seen how these guys operate? Have you seen how, how mannerless, how, how wicked they are to our people? That's why I'm challenging him now. Do stuff like this in Western world. What is preventing you? Why must it be black nation? Why must you do this kind of stuff in black nation? If you don't know what you are doing, go around. You are a travel. You go around as a travel vlogger. Do show us. Go do, do it other places. Do it other places. Let's see. We want to go to Asia. Go to other places and do this stuff. Why a particular continent and why? Particular race. Why only black race? Let me be particular about it. Let's watch the Japanese guy with Kino in Jamaica. Point of view. And ま、あの、聞いてみたらですね、あの、世界他の国とかやったら結構ね、吸ったらみんなこう回していくみたいなんです。回していくみたいなんですけど、ジャマイカは、え、こんだけね、フリーやし、そんなこと その so what kind of music you play? Any things or reggae? Or what? Yeah, you know that um, our Jamaican reggae style, um, DJ style, sing J style. What's the know? reggae for you? The reggae is the ice of music, you know, because everything comes. Yes. Oh, wow. Everything come from reggae, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't mind. So the smoke is like it's like it's not our land, mm. and we know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's not our land. So what do you think? 
かしてあるんですけど、コココナッツの香りと、まあ、聞いてみたらですね、あの世界の他の国とかやったら結構ね、すごい辛い。回していくみたいな。回していくみたいなんですけど、ね、やっぱり野菜のね、えー、こんだけね、全部出れるなんてもう、こんなことするけど、ないってことで、カットも入ってるし、ガーリックの味もするし、うん、オクラも入ってますし、パンプキンとか。まあ、聞いた話によると彼はですね断食する時間もあって今はね断食中ということで彼は一緒に食べないみたいなんですけどまあ特別に作ってくれたって感じです。Now, it's not a bad thing to visit a place. This is his job. This is what he's doing. But what do you bring? We want to see where's your backpack? What is inside your backpack? Eh? We want to see what you came in with. Now that you have come, Kino took him to places where he felt that, okay, his audience would want to see these places. And historic, I mean, historical places in Jamaica. The Rastafaris, what they believe in, how they live their life. You've seen all that. And we are not seeing where you have handed in anything to them. I have a serious problem with that. Don't do that. It's not nice. Don't. I don't know who will translate this and let it get to this guy, this Japanese guy. Don't do this. Don't do this at all. If it's something that they are used to, where they come from. Because some people, they believe that, some people act like it's their culture that, oh, you must not give. I saw a comment where someone was defending Mrs. Maya. Remember the homeless Haiti woman on the street in Miami that Mrs. Maya interviewed. So this person was like, no, it's very dangerous to give him food because there was a case of food poison. I hear you, I heard you. Guys, let's watch Mr. Kenge's. My last reaction, I actually forgot to share a clip where Mr. Kenge and Roruru were having this heated argument about the culture thing. So I want to bring that here. Let's watch them. I still don't know how big my house is. I, I believe that having so many beliefs, it just、uh, keep away the freedom for me. Because if I believe that I can do this, I believe that I cannot do this, I believe that I cannot do this, I'm, I'm, I'm a prisoner. I'm a prisoner of beliefs. Of beliefs. That's、yes. It could be true, but you see,、uh, sometimes. Okay. You, you can count because you don't believe, no problem. No. But it's not something that I would wish to participate in. And, and you know, even more when it's a negative belief. If you, why, I, I, why can you create a belief that is positive? If I do this, it will bring good luck. No, most of the beliefs that you have told me here are all bad luck. This will bring、okay. bad so, luck, it will so, kill someone, it will do this. Let me Everything is so negative and drastic. If you count like. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Good luck of playing. <laughs> okay, choose you.、Oh、choose what、god. you want. Oh my god. So, for real, ro, 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 ro. <laughs> you need to stop. You need to come slow. On a more serious note, ro, ro, ro. you go somewhere, respect people and their culture, what they believe in. Don't come and bend anything. Don't complain. Don't rant. If you feel uncomfortable, you feel you don't like the fact that he has so much beliefs. Oh, we do this like this because this, because of that, because of this. This is why we believe in this. This is why we don't do it this way, but we do it this way. If you have a problem with that, why don't you go for your own kind and leave him alone? Huh? It's not even like he's treating you well. It's not even like you are happy. We can tell that you are miserable, miserable. Ro, 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 pack your load if you have any and move. You might actually. Get someone who really cares about you, who will look after you, who will not be so stingy. But the mama is treating this girl like shit, doing everything. Carried jacket of three years ago that he has worn and worn and got tired. Carried and gave to this girl. When did the mama become a vet doctor? Hey, even looking at the fracture, I think the fracture is from the front side, not from the back. He was busy. Guys, our manager is upping her game big time. Our manager is making sure that she's always on point. Guys, if you take note of her dressing while she was crushing that coconut, go back and see to yourself. Manager is not playing games. Guess who was close to her? Of course, Uncle Jamaica. <laughs> Someone dropped a comment and was like, Of course, Uncle Jamaica got good eyes. Uncle Jamaica actually came. 
to your husband because of the manager because she's well behaved she is kind she's quiet she groomed herself very well she's beautiful i agree with this person but what i cannot agree is that jamaica uncle came there for manager no they kicked this thing that is going on when jamaica uncle got there that's when they started of course it's obvious because the manager prior to this you will never see her appear like apart from during the 30 days party after the party she's a quiet type it's either she's complaining of her day complaining like priya shama you know whenever you are not happy where you are it shows when the boss or the person asks you how are you you'll be like i'm not fine my adventure was vlogging with his wife last time and he asked his wife how are you she said my back is painful my back but if you are happy and you are feeling something, maybe let's say you are having serious pain or you are having a headache, you wouldn't put it on camera. You would be like, I'm fine. Because you know that, okay, this headache will go away. You don't have this other chronic headache that comes from your partner. You don't have this chronic headache that comes from other forces around you. You know it's something temporary that you will get over it and be okay. This is exactly what I saw with manager. Now, manager is always looking all dressed up. The manager is making sure that she's looking so pashash, looking so well kept, so beautiful. Mm, this is getting serious. Well, we are observing that. We will see how it goes. <laughs> I hope, I'm going to say it again. I hope it's not chop and clean mouth kind of a thing. BT, yeah, guys, BT has never been this crazy like this. He did a live stream. Yabbing. Oh, I've been single for five months. We've tried this for five months. It didn't work. We know what we agreed upon. We agreed that she can get a boyfriend if she wants. I can get a girlfriend if I want. It did not work. I actually broke up with her five months after I came back from India. There's another reactor that claimed that BT told him that his relationship with DK was based on views. That there was nothing there. They were not serious. Like it was not real thing. They were not in relationship like they were acting. <laughs> hey, can get wood in action. Now, BT is sending out warning that now that he has moved into his house, people must not come to remind him that he must move in with Diana because it's not going to be possible because they've been separated for five months. People have been separated for three years and they still get back together. What is he talking about? Why is guilty conscience disturbing this dude? This dude needs to move on. How are we going to say this? Move on. We've never heard Diana say even a thing. We've never heard from Diana, guys, about this relationship. What does that tell you? It means that this guy got a serious problem. You are the one saying everything. You are the one giving all this thing. You are the one putting out all this drama. Let me say that they agreed that they could move. Let me say that they agreed that they can be friends. They have moved on. Okay, Diana, that's another reason why Diana... Guys, didn't I tell you guys that there was nothing like a relationship before? Diana loved this guy, but this guy doesn't. I remember warning her. I warned her repeatedly. Diana, leave this guy. Diana, leave this guy. Because now, dude is taking advantage of this. Not only blabbing and blabbing and insulting Diana. He's also doing this for views. Oh, I almost gave up on YouTube. Oh, I almost ran away from YouTube. Again, people want to hear. Hear him. Diana, Diana, Diana. We agreed. We did this. You agreed on this. You agreed on that. And we're not hearing from this person. Since you have agreed, continue. Who is dragging him? Who is forcing him to move in with Diana? Who is forcing him? Okay, he says stuff again that there was a gift from someone who said that, okay, I'm giving you this so that you can move in with Diana. You can complete your project and move in with Diana. And he was acting like he didn't want to. He was kind of saying that he's not happy with that arrangement because it will never happen. Must you bring stuff like this to camera? BT, must you? Be sensible for a while. Be sensible for a little now. Mm? Don't do this. Guys, let's listen to him. Mm, 
we had just our agreement that man let's just try to be friends and after be friends life will continue you know help each other whenever it's need but let's just leave it but we were in a relationship but there's something happens actually now we are around them um, almost a five month almost a five month we tried our best but it could not work out and i don't think what we could do on that point actually that's how we decided to set to sit down and uh, understand each other and decide ourselves like oh man whenever you get maybe someone you love please go ahead and you also if it be like that go ahead but let's just be friends when you have maybe something maybe you need me to help you I can do mm. and uh, you can see because this thing actually it could be hurting me too much because I remember there is even someone who sent something uh, to her uh, to bring to me but uh, she told me that you know this person sent a message that I need to support you when you finish the house so that you can marry each other but I could not work out with that to be really honest because for us we knew what going on we knew what we decided between us too you know so to be with her actually is one of maybe the dream which cannot happen anymore because now we are almost five months yeah yes we did not open the audience up on uh, on the internet it's meaning right now even if maybe any one of us maybe now have a girlfriend or a boyfriend it could be happening already unless maybe we decided to be single or that. this audience of his that he's addressing and he's complaining and he's telling all this is, what are they going to do they cannot fix this right at this point they have made their decisions that is not working is not working what again does this guy want i'm tired of stuff like this guys can we move ahead ahead well, let's move to mrs maya mm -hmm. i saw this ig post remember i was telling you guys that this is somehow it get as it be it be as it get it's somehow but i understand i understand because i always say it here and i'm still gonna say it again if you are a social media person and you are married mm -hmm. it's challenging you cannot say oh, my wife as a lifestyle vlogger or as a reactor you must not talk to other guys you cannot say that it's gonna be difficult you cannot say oh my husband mm, as a travel commando that you are as african icon that you are as this word my that you are is not gonna be possible we don't want you to be talking to other ladies you know no lady should come close to you no dm no phone calls no in fact it's not gonna be possible you are actually destroyed you are actually spoiling the business if you do that to your partner i believe in that but there's something you will start seeing you'll be like hey this one is opening our eyes like this one what is going on this one is making us to overthink this one is making us to wow 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 what is this well i'm gonna let you guys see this because mrs maya didn't just do stuff with checking effects in miami they went out together with other guys with other ladies they went cruising in fact I have the clip here, okay? And then I saw another guy who allowed Mrs. Meyer to drive his Tesla. <laughs> hey! After I saw that, I saw another video of Wodemeyer also driving and singing a gospel song. I'm like, hey, two of you should stop it and let us know what is this? What is going on here? Let's watch them, guys. I'm from Miami, and you know we dress to impress. Me and you are friends. We're not trying to impress. I'm Kenyan. Of course, we are the most developed country in East and Central Africa. Of course, baby. I'm from Miami. 305, baby. We don't want for nothing, baby. From Miami. And everybody know what Sakpa say mean. Not too late. I'm from Miami. We call it the crib. Now you know what that means. Miami Cuban links. That's how it goes down out here. Salute, baby. <laughs> I'm from Nigeria. Money is not a thing. You ball out. I'm from the DMV. Of course, I listen to Gogo -Go and eat injera. From Miami. Of course, everybody know a little bit of Spanish. Como estas? 
Uh, of course, money is a big thing in Nigeria. There's hardship in the country. I don't believe in this one that is saying, oh, in Nigeria, money is not a problem. Yes, we party hard. Nigeria is a Ringo country. People, they like to have fun. People, they like to enjoy, you know, out there, chilling, cooling, relaxing. But the economy is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, facing a lot of hard time. What are you not telling me, baby girl? Mrs. Maya was like this with check. Very, very close. <laughs> Mrs. Maya was like this with check. She was even, you can see how uncomfortable she was. She was even like this mm, with her bikini, not even covering anything. Yeah. This is not our culture. Like I said, I know she's in Yankee. In Yankee is okay. But this other lady from Miami, she got a t-shirt on, on top of her bikini. You understand? And why sitting so close to check like that? You guys should leave me alone. Let me be saying it the way I'm seeing it here. You understand? I'm not saying that Mrs. Mike cannot do stuff with other guys, content creators. Stuff like that, I understand. As, that's why I said it's difficult to avoid opposite sex. But what is making me to overthink here? And I don't know for you guys. You let me know what you think in the comment section is. Why Maya horribly left Yankee. Now he's busy driving and singing. <laughs> Let's watch them. I will I will definitely cry. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. That's hilarious, man. But thank you, thank you for giving me this. Yes, thank you, yes. thank you for yes. trying yes. to drive, cause that means a lot. Do it now. Do it now. Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go. One, two. There you go. So I let you go. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh my God. What? This is. Oh my God. Put your hand on the wheel, though. Ah, there you go. This. Yeah. Oh, oh, you took. You took no. it off. You took it off. No. <laughs> This is crazy. Are you serious? Yeah. This is an amazing experience. Thank you so much. You need to put your hands on the wheel to, to, to make sure it's there, but you took it off, though. But yeah, you, you saw I turned the corner the whole night. It's, it's off now. You took it off. You took it off. You guys saw that? Oh, my God. That was crazy. That was crazy. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you for this experience. Yeah. Thank you. It's scary at first because yeah. you, you, you don't know if you should trust it or not, but I don't know. Oh, God. Oh. He's the miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the miracle walking God. He is a miracle walking God. He's the miracle walking God. His name is the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. I'm Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. Oh, he's a... You guys should leave me alone. Let me be in the same mood with our Maya. Hey. He's a miracle walking God. Go and carry your woman, Maya. It's a miracle walking. Hey, this is my I see in life oh, in Yankee. He's the Alpha and Omega. We don't want to hear PM. We don't want to hear any story that touches the heart. Mm. Now that we are seeing Mrs. Maya around juicy, juicy men, I am just saying, hmm, I don't want to hear PM. I don't want to understand what is happening. I don't want to hear anything. Let me just be minding my business in my small corner. Just allow me to be doing my own thing here. I don't want, I don't want, I don't, on a more serious note, eh? I thought I have seen it all. Guys, before we call it a day, hey, I want to say something here. Devil Junior is not stopping. People are still waiting. People are still requesting. Devil Junior, I want to see. You know, what will I even say? He, he claimed that Casta is okay. Casta is not pregnant. That's what he's saying, that Casta is not pregnant. Which, we don't know. Why can't he come straight at this point to let his audience know what is going on? It's over. It's over. Casta and I are no longer together. It didn't work. You understand? You know that it's not possible for you to see Casta. <laughs> the original thinks that we are kids here. He says stuff like, 
Oh, you remember when my sister came? My sister made me to spend so much money to buy this expensive necklace for Casper for Valentine's. Throughout, you've not seen her to surprise her with this necklace. And she's okay, she's fine. Oh, people are telling him, so long as you and Casper are okay, so long as you are fine, it doesn't matter. It matters because both of them are always here on our space. Casper has not posted. What will make Casta to stop posting? Mm -hmm. Think again. If everything is okay, why is she not at least moving on? Let's say the relationship did not work. Okay, she should have just moved on. Virginia and Mickey Mickey tried that stuff, whether it was based on views. That one, I believe it was fake. Well, it wasn't a real thing, like real relationship. You get what I mean? Hey, someone drew my attention to this bookie girl. I'm going to try to put her picture here. I don't even want to bring her onions. I don't even want to bring her, her clip here, guys. This girl was shaving on camera. This girl is about to risk it all. This girl is about to lose her hard work here. I'm just saying, because Whitey, you will be misbehaving. You will be doing something. You will think, okay, it's okay, it's okay. They are not doing anything. The day that they will come, it will rain like fire on your head that's all i want to say here the day that it will happen you won't even believe it let's read this comment before we call it a day for those that think this is fake google hates 400 mowonzo gang and the leader is lanmo sanjo and you will see the man in the middle of this photo is wanted for kidnapping many people all of which were innocent people in haiti this isn't a prank scam or otherwise Okay, this guy in the middle is a bad guy and he's most wanted in Haiti. He has kidnapped so many people. Nobody knows where he is. Here he is with a vlogger, Arab, and this um, fixer. Okay? He asked for ransom and he decided to release them after two weeks. And they were all happy. They were all excited. Don't you think that this guy is also doing this to give hope to those people under his captive guys overthinking will not finish me because at this point i'm even believing that these guys are social media people okay including christmas list hey some people can do and undo on this space so many families are in agony so many families are looking for their loved ones and already they have been communicated and they know that this guy held their family members okay and this guy again coming out to hold a youtuber and this fixer releasing them showing his environment where he is of course normally they don't show exactly their location where they are they are always like hiding and then asking for a lot of money huge amount of dollars now that the news have it that these two have been released those families hoping that their loved ones will be released now will start pushing money hoping that this guy will release their loved ones have you seen how they are even promoting these guys have you seen what made me believe that this is just something to make this guy even richer they are promoting this guy in a very bad way they are putting tension on the families that this guy is holding their loved ones raising their hopes have you seen it by promoting this guy and look at how the Arab and this other guy was just laughing, relaxed, comfortable. There's no way you will not tell me that this was planned. And that's why Chris is so quick to be writing all these things, defending himself. The other day, they were kidnapped. You announced that they were kidnapped. The next minute, they are released. These guys are playing with fire here. On this space, you will swallow him. This space sometimes will make you go higher, wire. A lot is going on here. A lot of pretense. What we are seeing here is deep. Is deeper than what you and I think. People pretend a lot here. People do dirty stuff here. People do a lot of dirty business. You see this guy that was killed. Hmm. The story will still come out. They have not yet said what really happened there. That guy that was killed. The story behind his killing is not yet out. There's more to this. One day, one day, they say in my culture, 
monkey go go market you know go feel come back one day monkey will visit the market and won't be able to come back you know that's all i want to say here a lot is going on on the ground you think people make money oh this guy is a rich dude apart from youtube he has a lot of money you think they make their money only from whitey you don't know that it's far from that you don't know that there is more they pretend just like christ that time that he was almost beaten in Masamara. Hear him. There's another lady there that wanted me to buy a drink for her. Oh, I'm a married guy. I told this lady that wanted me to buy a drink for her that I'm a married man. I can't buy a drink for her. I'm like, hey, tell me about it. Married men, they don't buy drink for women. <laughs> hey. Enough is enough, guys. Enough of this manipulation. Enough of them thinking that we are all stupid here. Eh? Enough is enough, guys. Alright, guys. If you watch till this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Thank you all for coming in today to support Kokomoma like you always do. Thank you for your love, support, like, dislike, bars, bows. Thank you for all. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottom of my heart. Do not forget to give this video thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Yes. Bring someone to the table, tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys.